Our diet today is very different from the diets of our ancestors and some experts say modern humans should eat from a stone age menu. Is it true though? Let us find out. The diet of our ancestors has not been properly defined but it is obviously different from what our diet is today. Today, most humans are omnivores who eat many different types of food including fruits, grains, nuts, vegetables, tubers, meats and other animal products. All of these reflect approximately 6 million years of hominin biological and cultural evolution. Until agriculture was developed around 10,000 years ago, all humans got their food by hunting, gathering and fishing. As farming emerged, nomadic hunter-gatherers gradually were pushed off prime farmland and eventually they became limited to the forests of the Amazon, the arid grasslands of Africa, the remote islands of Southeast Asia and the tundra of the Arctic. While evidence of dietary shifts prior to the agricultural revolution is more difficult to find in the archaeological record, we can say that what allowed our ancestors to begin venturing new food were the cultural developments such as tools for hunting, collecting or processing food. They then slowly learned to tame fire and then started to cook with fire which softened the food and made it easier to chew. Meat has played a starring role in the evolution of the human diet. We did not always consume meat to the extent that we do today, but meat may have been an especially attractive source of food for hominins because dense source of proteins and other nutrients critical for growth, development and maintenance of our body. Our ancestors were already consuming meat long before the agricultural revolution when they started consuming fibers like barley. Microscopic evidence of ancient cut marks possibly made by stone tools on the fossilized bones of large wild animals in Africa dating to approximately 3.4 and 2.5 million years ago suggests that early hominins ate meat but because the fossil record is imperfect, we still cannot be certain about the origins of meat-eating behavior. Some researchers hypothesize that eating more meat may have contributed to the enlarged human brain, enhanced cooperation and communication, and advances in stone tool technologies. They say that by starting to eat calorie-dense meat and marrow instead of low-quality plant diet of apes, our direct ancestor Homo erectus took in enough extra energy at each meal to help fuel a bigger brain. The dietary shift from hunting and gathering to farming led to major changes in human lifestyles and cultures, including the development of towns and cities and greater numbers of people. These changes are well documented in the archaeological record. The dietary transitions to meat eating and food cooking were critical events in human evolutionary history that led to significant changes in our biology and culture. Now comes the cooking. Most researchers believe that at least some hominins were cooking with fire by about 790,000 years ago, but the archaeological record of this behavior pushes it all the way back to as early as 1.5 million years ago. The process of cooking breaks down and softens food, making it easier for our bodies to digest, thereby providing more energy. Because of this reason, at around the same time, hominin tooth sizes began to decrease, perhaps because larger teeth became unnecessary for chewing softened foods. Today, we can't survive on raw, unprocessed food alone. We have evolved to depend on cooked food. According to some experiments conducted, it was concluded that cooking not only gave early humans the energy they needed to build bigger brains, but also helped them to get more calories from food so that they could gain weight. If we were to look at this from a different angle, we may be the victims of our own success. Some may disagree, but in this day and age, even cooking seems basic because we have gotten so good at processing food that we are gaining more calories than we lose in a day. Oranges have turned to orange juice and buns to burgers. 
It's this shift to processed foods taking place all over the world that's contributing to a rising epidemic of obesity and related diseases. Over the past decade, anthropologists have struggled to answer key questions about this transition. Was agriculture a clear step forward for human health? Or in leaving behind our hunter-gatherer ways to grow crops and raise livestock, did we give up a healthier diet and stronger bodies in exchange for food security? Which brings us to the first question, should we eat from a Stone Age menu? What are your thoughts on this guys? Please let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and for more videos like these, do check our channel out and do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.